hello everyone welcome to rpa learners and in this video we're going to see how to work with radio buttons using robocorp in the previous video we have seen how to work with checkboxes but in this video we're going to see on radio buttons so um, there are keywords that you need to know before we go and see how uh, checking the radio button works here uh, we have different keywords and different arguments that are required for those keywords first is the select radio button unlike in the checkbox we have select checkbox and unselect checkbox but in radio button we have only select radio button and this is one thing that you can use for selecting the radio button and if you want to check whether it is selected or not you can use is radio button selected or not and uh, here um, the argument is group name and the value I will tell you what is the group name and the value but for now um, group name is group name and then value these are the two different arguments that are required for i uh, for selecting or checking uh, the radio button is present or not you can use group name there is the value is not required for this and is radio button set to uh, whether you want to check uh, whether the radio button is particular radio button is selected and you can mention the group name and the value whatever the value that you are looking at will give you the value um boolean value does the page contain radio button if you are if you are looking for that particular radio button to exist and then you want to select then you can use this particular keyword and page should contain radio button it, this will make sure it is definitely the radio button is present there page should not contain radio button here there are different arguments if you see here one is locator message and the log level the locator is uh, the way we identify the element you can mention the css or id or value anything and uh, you can mention a message if it doesn't contain it will give you that message and what is the log level whether you want to track it or not it can give the log level as well. and the page should not contain radio button and radio button should be set to and if you're looking that particular radio button is already in have to set at a particular level or a particular value then you can mention it here it will check that radio button should not be selected you want the radio button to not select it let's go ahead and see how to use this and let's go here and this is the page that we're going to use and we are going to see whether it is selected here or not and let's go to visual studio and this is on the previous video we are using rpa browser.selenium and we already have open available browser it is opening the same page and now what is um okay by using sleep and let's after that we need to use select radio button right now we need to use radio giving us the recommendations select if you see select radio button radio button and let provide the group name and the value and error let's provide the arguments and then and if you see here select radio button which has group name and the value here is a group name and the value let's if you right click and go to inspect here check for the value indicated you'll see the value and if you see here name this is the group name and value is this one so you need to mention these two here so let's go ahead and mention them the first one is the name as this and then want to select mail right the error is gone now and uh, the second one what we need to do let's give another um, keyword as well let's say it is data and what is the keyword that we're going to use is radio button selected we'll check you just need to give the group name here let's give the group name and given the group name and that's it so let's save this try to execute this and see what is the value that we are getting 
this is how you work with the radio buttons working let's wait for the browser to pop up browser is and you see it will it selected the mail and it waited for two seconds after it's loaded completely and it selected the mail and then it is it is checking whether the radio button is selected or not if it is not selected it will give us false if it is selected it will give us true let's go ahead and see that it is not yet completed and let's go here press this it is completed if you see here 29 seconds open available browser it is a select radio button which is sex and mail so it is selecting the mail and as you already seen here the data is true because we selected it here checkbox is already selected so it is given as true if the checkbox is not the checkbox if the radio button is not selected it will give us false so this is how you use these keywords and there are several other keywords that you can try and use based on your condition that business based on the business process and that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos thanks for watching